there. Perfect. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm Felix Noble, and I'm here to give you guys a tour of my rig. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and either the rig's not clean enough, or I'm too busy, or I just don't think about it. So I'm getting ready to pack up and travel to the next location, and in doing so, I have to kind of tidy everything up, and so the rig is ready. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of that rig and allow you guys to get to know me just a little bit better. I feel like sometimes when I create on this channel, the one aspect that I'm missing the most is that personality. And so this is me, uh, you know, sharing that with you and uh, becoming a friend, you know, and, and sharing my daily experiences. That's the plan. It's always been the plan. And if you've ever tried to do it, it's not uh, for the faint of heart. It's, it's difficult at times. And if you're not, uh, built with perseverance, then it, it can be difficult. And, and there's a lot of people that give up on their dreams. So, uh, while I show you all of this, I want you to keep in mind that I sacrificed everything that I have to have this dream come true. So I had a comfortable home nearly paid off, uh, not to get into too many details, but I didn't have to worry about much. And I don't like the comfortability that uh, a steady life brings. So what I did was I put my house up for sale and I sold it. And then I sold everything that I had until it was crunch time and I didn't have really much time to, you know, I sold my house so I don't have a place to store my stuff. So if people didn't buy it, by the time I was leaving, I'm like, take everything's gone, take it, it's free. Um, so I gave away everything that I owned. I bought this rig. Uh, I got my little dog and I do the filmmaking, video production, audio, um, here on the channel. And I love nothing more than to feel appreciated. Don't we all? I mean, that's why we do things is, is, is to feel appreciation. Um, so for those of you that subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and, and comment and engage with my content, you know, I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Um, I look forward to it on a daily basis. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So I have my coffee behind you, so I'm going to be taking little sips and if you have a question, let me know and I will um answer them the best i can let's see so this is the rig this is uh don't tell anybody it's really 37 foot but to be in this spot you gotta be 35. <laughs> there's my view Shit, we better just walk out there right just walk out there real quick since we're leaving today It's supposed to be a tour of my rig, but I guess you got to get a tour of my property too, right? <laughs> Damn, this is so freaking gorgeous. So this is Indian Lake. I'm in Indian Lake State Park. And... Damn. It's gorgeous out. It's supposed to be cloudy today. It's a good thing I decided to put um charger on the drones. So a good reason to walk away from the rig like that is because it's a whole different perspective to the rig when you walk up on it. So we're going to kind of back up. This is my pride and joy. It's my home. It's where I live and me and my little dog. So let's see. Look at that. I mean, it's everything's perfect. It's got the name Discovery. I'm giving a full detailed tour of this thing. So if you want it, you got it. <laughs> Remember, not all who wander are lost. So this thing is a beast. <laughs> I got, um, some of these doors don't work very good, so that sucks, you know? Um, but it is what it is. Full disclosure, can't have it all perfect. This is my power, so when I don't have that to plug into, I just start this puppy up and I fill it up with a couple gallons and then it's done. Uh, I'm sorry, done. <laughs> It'll last the whole day. 
almost uh, 20 hours. This is where all the important stuff is that keeps me with power. Hey. <laughs> so now we're going inside. Let me turn this camera around. Boom. Hey, thanks for joining me. Let's see what we got here. River is right here in her spot, so we'll say hi when we walk in. There's a little squirrel around here. Look at this. You can you see that little nut? He's like climbing on my rig and stuff, and that's I've I've been pissing him off coming and chasing him around and stuff. And so he's uh he's been harassing me. When I came out earlier, I could hear him yelling at me across the way. <clears throat> hey River baby. How you doing, honey? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa, where are you going? Come over here. You river girl. Oh, you're so sweet. It's my river girl. She's my travel companion. She's the very best. We going for a ride in the big truck? <laughs> are we going for a ride in the big truck? <laughs> yeah, we is, aren't we? Okay, so this is my river girl. I'm gonna open up this door for her. You know, I got a couple of different places for this. <laughs> um, so that's my laundry. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> this isn't gonna work the way I wanted it to, but we are getting around to leave, so I'm kind of gonna stretch around in here. Hey, what's up? All right, so this is the brig. It's got everything you need. <laughs> I got the CB, dude. This thing's dope. Like, um, just you know, breaker breaker one nine. <laughs> I've never used it before. <laughs> I just use it to hear tra traffic. Um, doesn't look like anybody's got their ears on, so we'll just shut that down. Um, when there's a traffic jam, I use that, and I'm able to kind of just see everything. But, uh, I got these brakes, so I flipped this up, and it, like, automatic brakes, which is really nice. They're called Jake brakes. Um, that's where I put her into gear. This is my leveling jacks, so I can level this puppy out. Um different types of switches it looks like a lot but there really isn't lights wipers uh, fog lights auxiliary power so i can get more power if i need it and then more lights and stuff like that so these dashboards look like a lot but in all reality there's really not a whole lot to them so hey as you can see i have my christmas lights on do you hear that squirrel that's the squirrel that doesn't like me um <laughs> so i love christmas so these are my helmets. I use these for when I'm, uh, this is for UpMap Technologies, which is a, a, a subsidiary of Action Arts Digital. And so we go out and we fly the DJM 300 and that's a big puppy. So this is, um, you know, this is where some of the wearable equipment goes. You know, we have the vests and stuff and this little landing pad. Um, and helmets and stuff like that but this is the actual <laughs> what am i zooming in there must be uh is there a zoom button i can't tell if i'm hitting zoom or not i feel like i am um, whatever okay <laughs> so this is the drone charging station uh, that's my back of my bike let me just turn around here that's my bike <laughs> my electric bike that I drive around and I pull it in here. And, but then that goes on the back of it. And then this piece actually stores the ba uh, spare battery so I can go 50 miles instead of tw 25 without pedaling. This goes on the front. So imagine those two things are not there. <laughs> I have it tied up right now because I'm ready to leave. 
Um, we have the DJI FPV full get up in chrome red with the Action Arts digital logo. And it's actually the uh, um, Cyber Lumineers on there. I don't use them, but it definitely looks 10 times better than what the original plate goes. Um, obviously, there's the batteries and the charging port. And then uh, you have to have the paper plates and the charging station. I'm just kidding. Um, files for everything. <laughs> um, this is the Karma GoPro drone. Down there is my LiDAR equipment, which is lasers that map the ground in 3D. Um, and then right there, back there, is the batteries for the DJI uh, M300. So this, this thing right here is a beast. Um, I think the price takes like $15,000 just for the drone. It's pretty stupid, but it does good work. I got my... Um, what you call it tripod to hold my tablet but uh, lately I haven't been using this I just been taking it and attaching the top to this so I don't even have to set up the tripod which is super nice and cuts down on a lot of time because I gotta pull like one two three one two three you know pretty um it always really pissed me off so um that's pretty much the station for the drones and stuff um, might as well just migrate to the kitchen. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I'm gonna, it's probably better if I'm in the videos, but at the same token, um, I'm trying to get everything in it. So as soon as I put the phone down, I can't really pan around. So, so this is the kitchen. This is where I do my cooking. I got, um, this top right here will come up. It isn't working very good. So it breaks while I'm doing this. <laughs> That's the thing is, nothing's ever going to be perfect in life. And that means right now, today, tomorrow, the next, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what time or what period of your life it is in, in the journey that you're on, if you're striving for greatness, you will never be perfect. And if you strive for perfection, guess what? You're going to be a mess. You're going to feel like you're falling short all the time. You're never going to meet those expectations. And then guess what? You're going to just give up <laughs> or have a panic attack and, you know, I've been there. Like, you can hear in my voice and the way that I talk that I'm very passionate. I have a lot of emotion in the way that I do things. And so, yeah. <laughs> so, this is a setup. This is where the most important thing is in the morning. <laughs> Coffee. Gotta have it. Uh, lots of storage. So, these are pretty much like I keep my tools here. Um, just readily you know you imagine you have a drunk drawer in your house every drawer in this place is a drunk junk drawer pretty much um but it's organized junk <laughs> i got uh you know just more storage trash this is a con convect uh microwave so i can like cook food like in the oven i can put tin foil in here and stuff or i can just microwave my coffee when it's cold which is dope this fridge is pretty awesome Keeps shit cold. <laughs> um, and then now, let's see if I can get this set up. Um, hey, that works pretty good. Can you believe it? You might fall. I'm going to try and be very careful here. <clears throat> so this is my setup. This is, oh, I'm going to just put that behind it. That'll work better. And then I don't have to worry about it. Um, falling on me. Alright. Better. So this is the, this is the spot, man. Got my touch screen right here, which I can check, check the news. I can adjust my lights. Um, let's see. I got my charger for my phone. Uh, the, this is a laptop rig. But one of the most powerful laptops. I can't even say what it is because I don't remember because it's been so long. But uh, that's a 27 inch curved uh, screen, uh, computer monitor. Um, and I have, so this is set up to travel right now. So if I do this, it doesn't, it doesn't want to move, right? I mean, it shakes a little bit, but it doesn't move. But 
if I simply pull this key, I can move it around. I'm going to slide it right out of my way. It just slides right out of there. And then if I wanted to work standing up, how dope is that? So this is probably, oh, uh, hands down, the best setup. Look at all those wires, not very many. I'm just kidding. There, There is tons of wires, but they're all, it does look like they're all over the place, but from what they look like before, uh, it's come a long ways. That big old black wire right there, that thing is like 10 wires all put together. So <laughs> a lot better than it was. This is where I do all my editing. Um, you saw my generator on the back of the rig, which is slick, but guess what's better? An electric generator. So this puppy is a beast and will run this whole setup for over 24 hours. Wild, right? And when it dies, I have, I'll just get, oh, I can't get them out, can I? Um, I have solar panels. So I'm not gonna get them out right now because they're packed behind some stuff for the ride but uh, definitely uh, pretty awesome that I can just run my rig off of this electric charger or electric generator and uh, <clears throat> then be able to um, charge it again without having to plug into anything. So that's pretty awesome. One thing I've kind of like tossed the idea around in my head is I got multiple batteries for this, but if I, they sell a trailer, I probably build my own. But uh, you put a trailer up to this thing and lay out your, uh, have your, so if you've seen Martian, just like the, the when he does, when he goes from his base station to the next uh, location to, to launch off Mars, uh, he's got a trailer and he's got his solar panels like laid out over the top of the trailer. And then under that, he has his batteries. And so every day when the sun comes out or whatever, he's got to stop and let the batteries charge. But if I had enough batteries, I'd be able to pretty much ride all the time and just charge as I go. So the, the electric charger that I have, a lot of these don't have pass through charging, but this is a pass through pass through charger. Uh, charging electric generator and this thing uh, will allow me to have the solar panels out plugged in the solar panels also plug things into it and it will charge the generator as well as whatever's unplugged into it so you don't have to like oh the sun's out i gotta charge my generator um so that way i can plug and then i'll plug into it no you can charge your generator and plug um plug whatever into it and charge that as well at the same time so super dope, do 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 dope. Um, some this is my kit for my drone, my DJI FPV. Uh, to take it apart, it's pretty much a must. I'm tired of doing little with a little tiny L, you know those little L things. Um, I got some more cameras, blah blah blah. Plenty of those. Like uh, this, I don't even use. It's retired. Um, this is my tablet. Is it still on? Yeah. So this is what I use to fly. My DJI FPV, this is what I look at. I use the Fly app. So just one, you know, just like you flaunt your phone, but it's big enough that I can see the screen and can fly with it. So it's pretty dope. Um, we're gonna go ahead and kill that right now. Yeah. Um, this isn't a, one of those, like, it's hard to explain, but if you look at this, let me just turn you around, that'll be easier. Yeah, it just zoomed in. Like, I want to zoom out. I wish I knew. <laughs> Whatever. So, this is a mic stand. So, this, like, switches up. And this comes out. This is a $500 mic for professional recording. Uh, I do radio commercials and stuff. So, when I do that stuff, I have to bust it out. I got... Uh, my speakers mounted, so I don't have to take any of this down when I leave, which is awesome. Um, then that right there is the charger that goes to my batteries, and these batteries go into my bike. So um, that's what that's for. Pretty slick setup. This is my Christmas tree. I'm putting it up tonight. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, I guess I'll turn it back around. This is the bathroom. It did it again, huh? So this is the bathroom. What's up, yo? How you doing, guys? Rock and roll. Pretty clean. 
Um, that's my shower. Ooh, there's somebody in there. They're skinny. Um, I got to show you my bathroom, even though it's a bathroom. I got these cool signs and stuff. And uh, it's clean in here, you know. I did it all. I'm pretty proud of it. Look at this. Amazing experience would poop here again. <laughs> I had to go in and cover off one of those st half of the stars because you know to be realistic it's it's an amazing experience but it's not that amazing this is my river bed my baby girl river let's see if i can get the light on got my guitar um a little map or a little chalkboard had my parents come and stay they left me a little note oh no i didn't do my bed i did everything but my bed guys i'm sorry um, got a little flat screen in here, some cool stuff, you know, uh, air filter, heater, um, you know, fan, lockbox, nothing crazy, a lot of storage, just the bed and nothing fancy, but, um, definitely mine. So, like I was saying earlier, like, uh, not everything is perfect, um, not everybody is perfect, so as soon as you can own that, um, when you own that, it is empowering. So, I own who I am. I am not perfect. Um, I have a lot of uh, drive. And in my journey, in my aspirations for greatness, um, I fall short all the time. And... One thing, if I've learned anything, <laughs> uh, setting expectations for yourself leaves you um, leaves you with the ability to fall short. And we all know, like I've been saying, it happens. So, um, regardless of what happens at the end of the day, make sure you're doing what you love. So. A famous quote that I once heard from Jim Carrey uh, went like this. You can fail at doing a job you don't love. You can go and try and find the secure job, right? Something that's going to pay the bills. And then you could get fired. You can fail. So why not do what you love? This is it, man. This is what I do. This is what I love. So, without further ado, I'm going to... I would debate doing this. Um, I have to put my TV up. So, I wanted to show you what it's like with the slide. And so, I think what I'm going to do is like get everything around and then put the slide in. You can kind of... Oh, I did it again. It must be when I pushed that twice. Get this stuff around. All right. And... How was I going to do this? All right. <laughs> Hang with me, guys. This TV is monstrous. Awesome. 
<coughs> Get Rivers Thirsty thrown away. Our journeys today are only about an hour and 45 minutes, so we won't be on the road for too long. Where are we at? There it is. I forget. So, and this is just so much prep. <laughs> the majority of this is prep. Looks like the batteries are all charged up. Oh, oh I hate you. that this will stay one day I'm gonna have this charging station like built for it make sure that's turned off I hope you guys are enjoying this video it's not perfect <laughs> like I said can everything be perfect Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get everything, <laughs> get there. Um, so there's a little mark on the back of this guy. I just flip it over the top of that. Oh, I gotta set you down just a second. Hey. Right. And that's what it looks like. Um. Hey, it is. You got to push the button twice. <laughs> All right. What, are you ready for go for riding a big truck? It is. It is ready to go for riding a big truck, baby. Hmm? Are you ready? You're so sweet. You're the sweetest little button. Okay, so we don't really have to do any checking, like checklists or anything, because we're just putting in the slide right now. Got to wait for it. it says water to leave, wait to start. Like a brand new vehicle. Burr's like a kitten, too. So just to kind of make sure we're not drawing on too much power, this fan does quite a bit. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I got this switch to kill everything here. Where you at? Oh. Come on, baby. There you are. So that turns off almost all the lights. We'll get this one. Okay. I think, um, I don't want to, but I got this, uh, I think it's in the back, actually. Blaster, garage door lubricant. So we're going to take this out. We're going to give her a spray up under the, uh, slide to help lubricate it. So I did that before I left. It did quite a bit. Retractable stairs. It didn't. It worked numbers. Oh, yeah. These are the gears, so that'll help right there. We're just gonna simply spray these bad boys. Okay. 
blaster. Trying to capture everything I can. Hopefully I'm doing all right, Job. This is the only concern that I have is I put these lights up yesterday, but it should be enough to stretch once it's closed. So um, I'm gonna put you back down. Hey, hey River. I got to put this in a new spot. Um, can you see River? Nope, not quite. Okay, and then you can see everything back there. Well, the lights are off, so it's kind of hard, but keep your eyes open. So there's a little door up here. I'm going to turn it, and then the slide will start coming in. Man, that was sketchy for a second. I didn't know if it was going to come in. One of these days, it's not. You know, one of these days, it's just not going to come in. Um, these were, I don't know if they were put on afterwards or whatever. People in new RVs laugh at me, but then their RVs break down. <laughs> and mine doesn't. Let's see. Um, tuck on it. Where are we at here? There we go. That'll make the stretch. I don't think I'd... Well, I have done this with one hand one time. <laughs> While I was driving. Don't tell anybody. <clears throat> okay. There it is. And then, uh... Yeah, that worked out perfect, right? Probably just pull this back a little bit to kind of... Whoops, sorry. That was, uh, it's, it's pulled down a little bit. There. Kind of. Oh, yeah. My antenna. Goodness, man. I hope this video isn't just absolutely awful. <laughs> that's a good sign you hear the bang go ahead and ding boom just like that so then the only thing that needs to be done is I gotta unplug and stuff there's some minor things but the main point that I'm trying to make here come on River, get over here out of the way, huh? Sit. Yep. Oh, I know. I know. Just for a minute, huh? That we're on a traveling adventure, and we want you to come along with us. This is River. I'm Felix Noble, and this has been a tour of my rig, and all of the digital assets that I have here. Um, and man, I do this not only for myself, for uh, mental health, and uh, just follow my dreams, but I get just as much pleasure of doing so, sharing it with you. So I appreciate you all. Hopefully this helps you guys get to know me a little bit better, have a more of an understanding of, you know, what's going on here. Uh, and uh, I hope that you tune in to my next live. I appreciate you guys, all of you, much love. Stay safe out there. God bless.
Have a good day.